Okay, welcome back. We finished with our uh, decimal to binary conversion, and now we're going to do binary to decimal. First of all, let me resize this so it fits where I want it to in my recording window. There we go. Okay. Now, let me explain that you should save all your spreadsheets after you make them. The way you save a spreadsheet is go up to File here, uh, go to Save, like this. Uh, I'm going to go to Save As to show you something. When you type in the name here, you have the option of Type, and I recommend you use this type, Microsoft Excel 97 2000 XP. I think, find that's most compatible with different versions. Uh, if you save it with this option, you can also so open it in any version of Microsoft Excel, even the old versions. When you try to save this first, it will offer you this option, ODF Spreadsheet, which is okay, but I find that for compatibility reasons, it's probably better to, to change the option to Microsoft Excel.xls. All right, so I'm going to cancel because I've already saved my sheet, and uh, we'll go on from here. Now, this was decimal to binary conversion, and now I want to do binary to decimal. We pretty much want to reverse the steps that we've used to get here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, since I have pretty much the same stuff, but just reverse the steps, I'm going to copy this whole section and paste it, and we'll work from that. That will give me the format automatically, so I select all of that. Notice that the way I selected, again, was to, uh, I clicked on the first row, and then I hold down the shift and use the down arrow to select what I want to select, and I copy, and I go here, edit, paste. Okay. All right, now I'm going to want to make changes here, but this has the format for me. I want to do binary to decimal conversion, so I'm going to change that here. I just have to click in here, delete the decimal, change that to binary, and then binary, change it to decimal. Okay. Um, this is going to be my output, so I'm going to change this to output. And this is going to be my input, so I'll change this to input. No, I'm not necessarily going to want the same binary number here as I have up here, but for debugging purposes, I'm going to link these two numbers. So let me clear out this. Let me clear out these. Uh, again, I'm using the sh holding down the shift and using my arrow to select these cells, and I'm going to hit delete. Uh, so I, as I said, for debugging versus purposes, I'm going to link this cell with the cell up here. All right. So this means that the input down here will agree with the output up there. If I do that, then if I type in a decimal number over here, I should get out the same decimal number over here. And that's a good way to check that my spreadsheet is all correct. All right. So I have entered equals F4 here. So I'm going to hit enter. And I want all of these cells down here to agree with all of the cells up here. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to select and fill right. Okay. All right, now, so now to get the, the decimal parts. All right, so I, what I want here are these binary digits. I want the same binary digits here as are present over here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the, this region here. If you remember, in the first spreadsheet, we used transpose to take these digits in the column here to these digits in the row here. I'm going to do transpose to do the same thing, to take the row here back to the column here. So type in equals, because this is a formula, transpose. And I want to take the transpose of this array here. Let's see. It's not letting me select everything, so I'm going to stop there. And uh, it's not it's not why I want it to be. I want it to go to. Uh, uh, it's not why I want it to go to AB21 instead of Y21. So I'm going to go here, 
and just call that AB21. Okay. Alright, so close the parenthesis. Control, Shift, Enter. All right, so you can see that formula there, transpose of R of, of R21 to AB21. Okay, so now I want to zip this binary number back up into a decimal number. And let's see how we want to do that. Suppose, for instance, oh, well, first of all, let me take a binary number that's more interesting. Notice that this binary number corresponds to the binary number up top here. And this binary number comes from this decimal. So I'm going to change this decimal to be something different, like B21. Uh, let's see. That's, I think that's a little more interesting. Okay. And you can see that my input here has changed, and also my binary digits here have changed. Okay. Now, we're working our way from the bottom up. Suppose I had just one binary digit. Okay. Uh, then what would the fractional part be? Well, if this was a zero, that would correspond to a fractional part of 0.5. I'm sorry, if it was 0, the fractional part would be 0. If this was a 1, the fractional part would be 0.5. So what I want in this place here is half of whatever value is here. So I'm going to put uh, equals, uh, get rid of that, it's just going to be equal to this value divided by 2. Right. Now, consider what I'd want if I had two binary digits. Well, it would be uh, one half of this value plus a quarter times this value. So clearly here, what I want is equal to uh, the value. Well, I'm going to divide by 2, so let me just put parentheses here, divided by 2. And what I'm going to want here is the value here, which is D32, so I'm going to click there. And then what I'd want also is I'd want one quarter of this value. All right? But what that, that one quarter of this is one half times one half. And I already have one half of this value in this cell. So I'm going to add the value here. Okay. All right. Let's, so this gives me the correct answer. If I had just these two binary digits, that would correspond to a fraction of 0.5, because it would be 0.5 times this digit plus 0 times this digit. All right, now suppose I had three binary digits. I'd want to do something similar. Instead of two times, I want one half times. Instead of the value C and D, I would want to take this value 1, and then I'd want to have 1 quarter times this plus 1 eighth times this. However, that's, this is already equal to 1 half times this plus a 1 quarter times this, so all I need to do instead is go D31 plus this value. Now notice what I notice, notice the pattern here. If I click on this cell here, you can see that this takes the value to the right, the cell to the right, plus the cell below it divided by two. Okay. If I take this value here, this takes the cell to the right plus the cell below it divided by two. Very same pattern. I want to duplicate this pattern all the way up in this column. And I can do that by filling up. So I'm going to select all of these cells, holding down the shift, going with the up arrow. And we'll do edit, fill, up. And lo and behold, look at what I have. I have 0.20996. All right. If I go to my original number, this is 0.21. Pretty close. The reason it's not exact is that this binary fractional part is not exact. It only goes out to 10 binary places, which is about 1 over 1,000. So it's not surprising that we have a error in of about 1 over 1,000, well, less than 1 over 1,000. Okay. All right, so we're done with the fractional part. Let's get take care of the integer part. 
So what do we want to do uh, uh, with, this, with this number here? Suppose we had just one uh, binary number, binary whole number. And I'm going to start at the top here. If I had just one binary whole number, then the integer part of that, for, for instance, if I had one binary digit and that one binary digit was a 1, that would correspond to an integer of 1. Okay? 1 is the same in binary and in decimal. So here, rather than this formula, I'm going to want to take equals and this value here. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to I forgot to do the transpose. I want to take these binary digits here and put them here. So I forgot to do that. We'll go down here and uh, I'll void these out. And I want to type equals transpose. And I want to grab these numbers here and close the parenthesis. So there's the formula. Control Shift. And you can see that these binary digits agree with the binary digits here. All right, so now let's start on the integer part. All right, if I had one binary digit here, then the integer part would be e equal to the binary digit. So, that, so I've corrected that. This is now correct. Suppose I had two binary digits. Well, then I'd want two times this digit plus this digit. So I'm going to do that but slightly differently. I'm going to take two times. Now I, I said uh, I'm going to take two times this number here. I'm not going to go over here. I'm going to go to this number here plus this number. The reason I'm going to take this number here is that this number is going to accumulate as we go. And we'll see how that works out. All right, so let's continue. What about here? What number do I have here? Well, if I had three binary digits, I'd want four times this no, I'm sorry, I want 4 times this, plus 2 times this, plus this. Okay. So, but uh, see, in this cell here, I already have 2 times this, plus this. So what I want to do is multiply this by 2, and add this on for the right. Okay. So I'll do that. I'm going to take 2 times this guy, plus this guy. Whoops, not that guy, this guy. Okay. You can see the formula here, and press enter. Okay. All right, now look what's going on here. In this formula here, I took 2 times the cell above plus the cell to the right. This guy here, I took 2 times the cell above plus the cell to the right. Uh, so I'm going to continue that pattern all the way down. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and uh, go uh, down. By, by the way, uh, I did something very quickly that I should probably show you. Suppose I type in here something that is a mistake, and I don't want to enter that, but, and, but I don't want to change what I have in the cell. If you just hit Escape, it will forget what you typed. So let me say that again. If you type something in, and you decided that you don't want to type it, hit Escape, and it will forget it. Spreadsheets are very forgiving. All right. So what I want to do, uh, let me go back to what I was talking about. What I want to do is fill this formula down. So let me go ahead and do that. So, uh, holding down the shift, down arrow, edit, fill, down. Okay. Notice what I have here, 543. That's exactly the integer part of my original number. All right. So what do I want to do here for my output? My output is going to be equal to this number plus this number. Okay. Now we can have some fun. Here, what I've done here is I've linked this conversion here to this conversion. So if I type in anything here, for instance, I could type one 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 like that. It converted it to binary over here. Here, it grabbed the same binary and converted it back to decimal. Uh, so we can, uh, I mean, you can do any kind of stuff. You can do pi, 3.14159, okay, and you have the, so you see it doesn't, it's not that accurate. If you wanted to get more accuracy, 
I could do something like this. I could do uh, three one. I could do three one four point one five nine. Okay, and then you'd have more binary digits, and you get more accuracy here. Of course, then you'd have to divide by a hundred at the end. But uh, you can see that everything is working here. And if I didn't want to have a binary number down here that agreed with this one, I could simply unlink. I could do a one 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 like that, and one 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 like that. Okay, and uh, you can see that this is um, two o four seven. Two o four seven is one less than two o four eight, which is two to the eleventh. And you can figure out why that is. Okay, so we're done with this one. Please save your file because we'll use this again in the next installment. Okay.